Hey guys, how you doing? Brady here with The Random Woodworker. Uh, this week's tutorial, I'll be going over the crosscut fence that I got with my table saw. It's not as accurate as I want it to be, and it doesn't work for me, so I'm going to uh, redo this. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I did to make this better. First thing I did was I uh, got a piece of hard maple or oak. You want to use a hard wood, so oak is pretty easy to find, so if you have to use oak. What I did was I cut this out on the table saw, a little bigger than it has to be, and I sent it through the planer this direction, uh, probably taking off a thousandth of an inch at a time until it fit in here. You want it to move nice, but you don't want it to move, you know, go back and forth, see, and it does not. So you want to just keep uh, sending it through your planer until this is perfect fit. Then flip it this direction, you want to plane the bottom top surface down until you get it just a little lower than the top itself. Okay, from that point, I purchased a T-nut, which is a quarter by 20 by 5 16 This is what that looks like. Now, it was too wide for this piece of wood. If you noticed, it kind of hangs over the side there. So I took my grinder and I went and ground off this this one and this one. I just ground off the two end ones here. Now I just got the two left. That's all you need. So what I did is I uh, sent this through the table saw and removed enough for, so it countersunk this. Then from there I put this inside here and drove it in. Now you notice it's lower than this so that worked good. The next step was to uh, drill a hole here for the fence itself to rotate in. So let me show what I did on that. Okay, next thing I did was I uh, countersunk a hole, so this, this is two and a half by a quarter. This uh, fits in there, countersink it. And I, then I drilled a quarter inch hole for this to fit through. Alright. Now you notice I got this pretty long. The purpose of that is you can always cut it down if you think it's too long, but I want it long for stability reasons on this. Okay, now uh, this piece of wood here made this handle. Okay, so what I did was I sent it through the table saw, cutting it down and only so deep so half of this sinks in. So when you cut it in half and flip it over, you can compress this in there and glue it in and compress it. And then this is what you come up with on that. Okay, so we got that. Next step was to Go ahead and put this through. And if you notice, it's countersunk so it doesn't hang up. And this goes on. So then I got a, that and I put a. Uh, now this is a lock nut. I use a lock nut for it. Okay, from that point, you take the handle. Now remember the handle. It's compressed in there and I got two screws in here to hold it together like a clamp, let it dry overnight. And then I put a, a nut and a washer, and then a nut and a washer on this side, then I ground this down. So now I got myself a handle. So you put it in there like so. Well, what I'll do is I use a washer on this, so. All right. All set, I'll tighten this down just enough to where it turns free. Okay, but I don't want to do it because it's a lock and nylon locking nut. So there you got yourself a fence that's a heck of a lot more accurate. Now, I am going to put a piece of wood on here that rides up to the blade on both sides. But now you got yourself a real accurate cross cut for your table saw. Here's the final adjustments on the cross cut fence. Uh, one is make sure you hold this down and you do not want this plastic piece to touch the tabletop. So mine did, so what I did is I uh, put a washer right in here then I put another washer here and that raises up a little bit. And that worked great there. Now the second step, hold this down and I put about four pieces of paper under each end of this fence. I put it down, set it on it and then I put the screws in. Now 
it moves just a little bit. You want it to move. You don't want the plastic or the wood to hit the tabletop. Just this. This keeps it uh, steady flow going through the whole thing. Now these were a little longer. I had raised the blade up and I cut them off like so on each side. So this way you're really close to the blade when you go to cross cut something. Now you notice I made my handle about this long. You can make them longer if you want, but it's perfect for my grip because now I can hold it and push through. And the other nice thing is you barely have to, this moves, you barely have to tighten this down. This thing locks down real good. That ends this tutorial. Uh, check us out on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. If you like the video, please thumbs it up and share it. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.